Hey, it's Alyssa from Rome Wise, your go-to guide to Rome. Today we are gonna talk about Rome in August. What is that like? There is a lot that you need to know about Rome in August, in particular what's open, what's closed, where you can eat, how to dress, things to do, and what you can expect. So ready? Here we go. People think Rome in August is high season. I'm here to tell you it is not. It is a kind of a mid-season. This is the time of year when it's very hot and people come to Italy to go to the beaches, the mountains. In fact, the Italians leave Rome to go to the beaches and the mountains in August because it's just hot to be here. As you can see, I'm <laughs> sweating. Uh, I enjoy being in Rome in August because it kind of empties out. A lot of the Italians are gone, the city's quiet, it's nice and pleasant and I can drive and park places but the tourist sites you are going to find crowded which is why you'll probably think oh it's high season but the Vatican the Colosseum they're always crowded but everything is open and uh, tourist wise now restaurants you're going to find some restaurants closed but there are plenty of places to eat there's also this great summer fest along the river which you can go to every night from 7 p.m. till 1 a.m. it's for everybody it's for small kids it's for adults it's for teenagers uh, there's live music there are things to eat shopping it's like a summer boardwalk it's a lot of fun there are also some really great beaches near Rome it's very easy to go to the beach check my link below for how you can visit some of the beaches near Rome some are only half an hour away on the Euro 50 train so you have no reason not to go to the beach if you're too hot to stay in the city hey guys here at the Pantheon so just checking out the crowd situation to show you what it's like in Rome in August August is kind of a good time to come in terms of crowds but it is really really hot I get asked a lot if you should book things in advance, like the Colosseum and the Vatican, the two most important things to book in advance, when you're coming during a low season, like January. Yes, you definitely should book in advance because you never know. And you're gonna get here, you're gonna be hot. You are not gonna wanna stand in lines and you're not gonna wanna waste any of your vacation time trying to figure out what to book, when to book, etc. Do this in advance so you have a plan you know when you're going to the Colosseum you know you've got a booking you've got a date and time and you've taken the stress out of it if you show up and see that there are no lines and you think oh I didn't need to book well you know it's only two euros <laughs> to book in advance I think it's worth it to have the peace of mind so I really recommend booking in advance even in low and mid season so what's closed are shops and restaurants they're mostly closed around the middle of the month because the epicenter of August holidays in Italy is the 15th, Ferragosto, which is a big holiday because it's a religious holiday. It's all about the ascension of the Virgin Mary. But this August holiday thing started way back in ancient Rome. It actually started with the first emperor of Rome, Octavian Augustus, hence August, named for him. Back in ancient Rome, the Emperor Augustus decided to give people some time to enjoy themselves and rest. It was hot, it was before the big harvest coming up in the fall, so this is why the tradition of the August vacation started back 2,000 years ago. In the 1920s and 30s, the fascist regime of Mussolini decided to give workers the whole month off. This started a cascade of companies taking the entire month. If goods weren't being delivered, the truckers were off, the factories closed, so basically everybody just started to take the entire month of August off. Back in 2001, when I first moved to Rome, it was really hard to find something open, like a grocery store or a restaurant. In the entire month of August, I mean, the capital of a G8 country shut down for a month. I just could not believe it. This has changed quite a lot. Um, Italians don't really have the money to take the entire month off. They also are finding that if they have businesses, it's not worth their while to be closed for the entire month. And so now we're finding that people are taking shorter and shorter times to close their business and times to go on vacation. Foods you should look for in Rome in August are things like tomatoes, peppers, uh, eggplant, all these summer foods, artichokes, kale, broccoli, these are winter foods. You're going to start finding artichokes in Rome now in August because a lot of places are serving them. They're frozen or they're from somewhere else. They are not Roman because it's out of season in August to have artichokes. But for example, caprese salad, which is buffalo mozzarella with fresh tomatoes. Oh, so good. 
very summery. It's actually not a great food to have in the winter. Even if we do have tomatoes year round, they're coming from hot houses. They just, they don't taste the same in the winter. Um, peppers, red peppers. So there's a really popular dish in the summer. In particular, it's traditional on August 15th for whatever reason. It's chicken and peppers. Very traditional, simple Roman dish. Just called chicken with peppers. Pollo ai peperoni. I love this dish. It's very flavorful. Another excellent summer dish, eggplant parmesan. So eggplants are summer vegetable and eggplant parmesan is the perfect summer dish if you like that dish. Certainly you're gonna find all of the typical summer fruits like watermelon, melons, peaches, etc. Easy to find, very traditional dessert in Rome when you go out to a trattoria. They're gonna offer you, you know, tiramisu and all this, but you can ask for um, watermelon, which is anguria. You can also ask for melon or berries. There are all kinds of fruity desserts right now because it's just so hot to be eating something creamy and full of dough and, and, uh, and pastry. So if you want a nice, typical Roman dessert in summer, get the watermelon. How should you dress in Rome in August? What should you pack? It's summer, it's hot, the days are really humid. Obviously, you want to dress lightly. Um, cotton, natural fabrics, shorts, sundresses, cargo pants, uh, tanks, t-shirts, etc. You probably don't even really need a cardigan or a light rain shell, although you could pop those in your luggage. They don't weigh too much. You never know if there could be some chilly evening, although it's, it's pretty rare. The most important thing that you should pack is comfortable shoes. Preferably not flip-flops. These are not ideal for walking around the cobblestone streets that we have in Rome. You're going to do more walking than you think, and on top of it, these streets are really hard on your feet. So bring some sturdy walking shoes. If you like open-toed shoes, which I prefer, just make sure they're like hiking sandals, something sturdy, not something you have to break in. Don't forget to bring a sunscreen, or you can buy it here. Don't forget to bring a hat. Also, a scarf is a great way to cover your shoulders if you want to pop into a church and make sure that you bring something appropriate for visiting the Vatican and any other holy site. You wanna have covered knees and covered shoulders for that. One uh, really helpful item are hiking pants, the kind that have the zip out bottom. So that is a good option for being able to wear shorts while you're out in the sun and then quickly put on something to cover your knees right before you head into the Vatican. By the way, I've got pages on the website, Rome in August, what to pack for Rome. You're gonna find a lot more information there about how to pack when you're visiting Rome in summer. I also have a video all about how to pack for visiting Rome in summer, so go check it out. I hope you've enjoyed this video all about what to do in Rome in August. If you did, please hit the like button below and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and see you at the next video. Ciao for now.